Pope Francis's Antichrist quotes never seem to end, and not just at the Vatican either, as this man continues to fulfil end-time Bible prophecy. Some of you may be aware of this quote he made at St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City on the 24th of September 2015. Unfortunately, the only channel that seemed to cover it was the far-right Republican noise machine Fox News, which as many of you may know is renowned for its pure hatred and almost comedic falsifications, if they weren't so serious. Please be warned, there is a political agenda there, and I am not endorsing it in any way. So apologies for that, but the quote is correct. And you can see that for yourself on YouTube by typing in, Pope Francis says, the crucifixion was a failure. Yes, as hard as it is to believe, the heretical Pope did say at this service, and I quote, God sees to the fruits of our labours, and if at times our efforts and works seem to fail and not produce fruit, we need to remember that we are followers of Jesus Christ, and his life, humanly speaking, ended in failure. The failure of the cross. End quote. Following which, Everyone applauded, like the Muppets that they are, no better than the Hillsong mob who cheer at satanic rituals in their church. There we go then. Another anti-Christian message from the Pope about the fruits. And we shall know you by yours, Pope Francis. Look at how he tries to pathetically justify himself by saying, humanly speaking. Now, I don't care how you are speaking, Pope Francis. Jesus' crucifixion at the cross was not his failure. On the contrary, it was his triumph and your failure. Everyone's, but especially zealots like you, who nailed him to it and threw away everything because he wasn't the God you wanted him to be. But you don't get to choose, all right? He could have avoided it. He could have evaded capture from he that betrayed him, but instead he let it be. He let those who knew him best make their decisions. And guess what? They were the worst decisions they ever made. To torture an innocent man for healing the sick and teaching the truth, even after being given the choice to let him go, isn't his failure, or mine. Because I'm Adam Charrington, and I wouldn't have failed him. But yours. You're the biggest failure around here, Pope Francis. Few have made such blasphemous statements as yours. <laughs>